Request for today is French Bulldog. This is requested by Sarah. Thanks, Sarah. Um, anyways, one of my biggest fans, Sarah. Close to Shara. Anyways, Goofy. What we're going to do is, oh, what have I learned about French Bulldogs? Um, they originated from English Bulldogs that were bred with pugs and terriers. And their nicknames are Frenchie. And they're the sixth most popular dog in the U.S. Um... So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with his head. We're gonna do a rainbow arch. So we're gonna come down here. Rainbow. Okay, so then we have his side of his face is coming out. So on either side, you're gonna do one side and then do the same thing on this side. Try to make it even. And you can have it come across, but we are gonna make it the little tongue there in the middle. Okay, so one thing they're also known for is their ears. So we are going to have his ears come up and then have it come down and then have it bloop, come in a little bit. So they have, let's see, they've got wrinkles, the short nose face structure, and their ears are bat-like with a compact body. That's their, their look. So, and I'm looking at their ears, I'm like, yes, they do look bat-like. And they're really, really big. All right, so we got the ears. And we are going to erase, not all of it, but some of this right here so it looks like it's connected. And then now we are going to do the inside of the ear. So we're going to bring this down and then just go bloop. Same thing on this side. Bring it down and a little bloop. Looking good. Okay, so now we're going to do the bridge of his, where his snout noses. So we're going to do a line across and then it's just going to come down a little bit and then over. A little bit and over and then his nose is going to be in the middle. I made it a rounded square. Cute. Um, they're great lap dogs. They're playful and they're smart. So that's why they're popular. Everybody's like, I want a smart playful lap dog. I do not. I have a Karen Terrier. I do not have a French Bulldog. But I can say my Karen Terrier has a great disposition, very mellow, which I'm very thankful for. Um, not a lap dog. My dog is not. Do not snuggle the dog. She says, give me a pet and we'll move on. Okay, so we're going to do his little tongue. So we're just going to go make a little tongue right here. Make a line down the middle and this is going to be the bottom of his mouth. Okay. And then you could do these little circles here. And then now we're going to do its eyes. So you can make the eyes as big or as small as you want. So we're just going to be making circles on either side. One thing I love about all animals, if you look at animals, humans have a lot of whites in their eyes. We're going to do a line across here. Animals do not. There's, I think that's what makes them look so cute is because they're, you can barely, there is white to the eyes, but they're pretty much behind. You can't see them very often. They're mostly just gigantic eyeballs colored. All right, now that part is cute. If you want to put a couple of shinies in there so we can put some in here, just make them look extra cute. So for his body, actually let's do his collar. So we're just going to come down below the mouth and come back up. And now we're going to put this little chain part so we can connect. You guys can make the chain however you want. If you just want more to look like a dog bone, great. If you want it to just look like a traditional circle with your dog's name on it, super. Okay. Um, now, um, a standard, the standard colors, there's nine standard colors, the mismatch of colors between brindles and tans and whites and browns and blacks. Uh, so there's nine of them total. All right, so now let's do its body. So we're going to go one side of its body's coming down. And we do have another side of the body coming down. We'll probably erase this because so this is the other side because we're going to be putting his back butt here. And then now I want you to, these are his paws. So do one paw. I did big fluffy paws. 
actually, I think I'm going to make this pot a little bit bigger. All right, so now we're going to connect this. So do this on this side. So those are his cute little paws, and then you could put his thingies in here. And we're going to erase most of this. I'm going to leave a little bit at the top. So it just looks like it's protruding a little bit. I don't know if I like those paws. So if you want, ugh, I don't like that. So I'm just going to make them do the traditional all going the same direction. I think I like that better than this one. So I'm going to come back and fix this one. So I'm just going to go make them all going the same direction. I think I like that better. Yes. And we're going to connect it because that's his little back part. All right, let's do his hind legs. What else do we know? Oh, lots of famous people have French bulldogs because they love them so much and they're so cute. They're like, look at my dog. I mean, do you ever see celebrities with like mm, mutts? Probably not. I don't know. Okay. There's our French bulldog. So now we're going to sharpen it and then I'll show you how I colored it. Um, and I've got one more fun fact for you. So I just used for the whole thing just a regular Sharpie. Here we go. Now I'm going to go around the outside one more time. All right, here's the color. So what I did for the, my dog, because of course there's nine different colors, you can choose the color as you want. Just look up the different colors. This is tan and I use brown. So I'm going to make it a little darker along the tip. We're going to do half the dog. It's pretty much the same on both sides. And along the edges, always where I have sharper Sharpie, I always color it darker. Oh, another fun thing I learned is even though they're small in stature and they're just so darn cute, oh, they're good watchdogs. What? Yes, something I learned. Question for you, Sarah. Do you have a French bulldog or you just wanted to learn how to draw a French bulldog? And do you have a dog? All right. Right under here, I'm going to color it darker. And back behind the hind legs, darker. Okay, so how I'm gonna show you how I made the shiny. So what I do is I just take gold and yellow, just make some lines across like this. I outline it. And then I'm just gonna come in with my tan and you're just gonna give it a couple of extra streaks in here to make it look like it's bling, bling, shiny. And for the tongue, I colored the whole thing in yellow. I mean, that's not yellow, that's pink. And then I'm gonna come in with red and I'm gonna just gonna go around right underneath the lip a little, down the center, and then kind of blend it a little bit. So it looks like a cute little tongue. And inside the ears, I just did brown. And as I just do darker along here, and as I come out, I'm just gonna do lighter and lighter. Oh, his eyebrows. I did the eyebrows brown. Cute. Oh, I also gave him some like rosy cheeks too. Oh, man. So this whole thing in here, you want to do brown. So color this whole thing in brown. Go along the edges. Just make it a little darker along the edge. And then take pink. So 
is give it just a touch of rosy in there and you can make the collar any color you want in the background your color i forgot tan right here anyways i know you got this hope you enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next